Alrighty. Um, two lander, spreading seas, great four drops. I mean, I would prefer to be on the play with this hand. He had most hands. Alright. Saw, saw it coming. I knew it would be against Tron and I'd top deck Serum Visions. Didn't doubt it for a second. Obviously keep the spreading seas. I think I bought him to negate, but being able to spread in seas a bunch is pretty important. And hitting our land drops is pretty important. Especially considering we're likely up against Eldrazi Tron, which is much more common. We want to be able to Supreme Verdict or this this stuff. Land is good. Hmm. Interesting. We might not be against Eldrazi Tron based on that. I think we probably aren't. So if I if I thought it was against Eldrazi Tron, I might want to keep this planes up. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Apparently we fixed our opponent's mana. Uh. Sheesh Louise. And we drew... Oh, what a disastrous occasion. We're gonna have to like path a snapcaster. <sighs> Contortions. I pro I should have done that instead of sighing a bunch, I should have pathed the snapcaster when our opponent was tapped out. That's why you don't go on tilt. Cause tilt makes you play bad. Next thing is if our opponent uh, tries to stop us like that, if we do draw land, we can resolve this jace. Unless it's a planes. We could use our own Ghost Quarter. I mean, Ghost Quarter's pretty good, though. I think we'll just wait. Alright, at least our opponent is having issues as well. It's nice to know someone else is suffering. Also. Hmm. I think I should chase. Yeah. Based on drawing that land, especially, like. Just because our opponent, our, our deck is dense with ways to deal with these. Dense. We're very dense. And now we have Cryptic Command. Hmm. 
Hmm. Gideon doesn't seem great. Does represent a clock. Be nice to have a way to deal with Karn, I suppose. And Ugin. Alright, good, good, good. Fortune. Fortune is favoring us. Do I leave up cryptic command? Yeah. Yeah. Whew. There it is. That's a problem. This feels like is it Ulamog X. Ah, ah. What does this card do? If you have fewer than seven cards, draw cards equal to the difference. So draw two cards. All right, that's not so bad. As long as our opponent doesn't like spell pierces here. That went better than expected. Minus Jace, get that ghost quarter or spreading seas, whichever. I suppose our opponent could have the third spell snare. Spell Snare the third. Alright, Negate is a pretty good draw. Opponent can Karn. They have seven cards in hand. We're probably not going to win this. I mean, this is just a disaster of a matchup. A disaster. Um. Yeah. All right. I'll hope. This isn't like Ulamog or another Kozalek. Just Ugin. Yeah, that's worth negating. Keeps our Jace in the game. Snapcaster for negate. Mm, 
can't let that resolve. There's too many spreading seas that are important. Nice thing is if this uh, gets countered, we can detention sphere the oblivion stone. Burst without buyback? The madman. <laughs> I mean, you can't buy back, but how dare you spell burst without buyback? Alright. Take that out. I mean, if our opponent has another O stone. I mean, we. I think we just have to hope they don't. Eh, maybe I should have minus Jace. Anyways. And tried to hit, like, a cryptic command. Chances are. Yeah, chances are we're not gonna get two more activations out of this guy. So I should have just minused. say. Opponent already has tons of mana, so we could tech edge the ghost quarter and then hit the Ugin. I feel like the limiting factor for them is not mana at this point. Fortunately, we're unfortunately we're out of Basics. All right. So I hope they're just on the air. Which seems fairly unlikely. I also feel like we're not winning by tech edging this Urza's tower. Way too likely they'll be able to um, find a new one. Eh, we might as well concede. We're not winning this. Okay. 
Okay, post board should go a lot smoother now that we know what we're up against and have a lot less dead, a lot less dead. Cut the dead cards, put in the good cards. Detention Sphere, I'm not a huge fan of. Just because of like Karn, O Stone, Ugin, etc. etc. Although we don't really have too many more options. Mm, I'll. Elspeth is pretty slow. Good path. I guess one D sphere seems okay. Alright. Rump. Good enough. Have tech edge. Have some lands. Have a Jace. Good yellow snapcast. Alright, now I think I'm gonna do it just in the hopes that it baits out like a remand or something. Or a condescend. Or an F6. Seems like that's game. Especially with spreading seas and dispel. I suppose treasure mage would have been annoying. Spell that. Alright. That was fast. Turns out Geist is pretty good in this matchup. I'll run it back. Run it back. Turn three guys. Run it back. Come on. Or not. <laughs> Hand is great though. Opponent Mulligans again. Could could win. Could win. I mean post board we're probably like favored in this matchup just because we have spreading seas. I mean, we have it pre-board, but we have so many dead cards. Game one. Let's 
Let's just pay the life, because who cares? Who cares? Go for land. Actually, play out Wall of Omens, I think, because I don't want Spreading Seas to get countered since our opponent is going slow. And I do want to draw into enough lands to get to start playing out multiple two drops. And there's not really anything our opponent's going to do this turn that we care about. We should be fine passing back, even if they do have Tron. Thirst, on the other hand, I think we have to have to try and stop this. It's unlikely they'll have Tron. Not that unlikely, but. Even if they do, we have like the answer to a Karn or a Nugan, kind of. Alright, so they can Runes back. Expedition map. I think I want to seize the power plant anyways, because I can just negate the uh, expedition map. even going for it. I mean, it is pretty slow. And they don't even have lands. Okay, Tech Edge. Probably Tech Edge. the academy runes and then negate the expedition map. I'm not too worried about getting my clique out since I have multiple negates. Yeah, our opponent had mana problems this game. If they have treasure mage, it's kind of annoying. They do not. Oh boy. Yeah, this game is super over. Have Cryptic and Negate backup and Tech Edge and Cleek. Geist MVP. Um Yeah, I don't really want that to turn into anything. I mean, it seems unlikely we're gonna do anything. <laughs> Two Ulamogs, Ugin, Platinum Angel, Worm Coil, jeez. Wow. They're just dead. I could put them down to one with Colonnade. D. E D dead. All 
All right, got there. The nuts, the absolute nuts, all right.